game entails a non-lethal control of, um, of livestock farming, and I mean non-lethal control of carnivores on livestock farming. Um, and so at the same time, it pretty much deals with, with three major elements, um, which is working with the environment and benefiting the environment, benefiting production on an economic scale, and of course benefiting the social upliftment of societies around us. So using herders um, as um, a management tool um, is a really good way to really uh, bring that social upliftment in, um, as well as, um, yeah, you know, the herd health elements are taken care of so much more. Uh, you know, they go through these cattle and the, and the sheep every morning and every evening to see what's wrong. So we can really pin down um, our management uh, to improve production. When we started, we took our staff to be trained elsewhere for people that had done similar things. But there definitely was a need both to retrain our own staff and ongoing training of our staff here and to offer that service to the greater community. And we envisage as we get more uh, producers that are ready to participate in the brand that they would want to train their staff at least in aspects of human herding. Uh, basically, I'm actually involved in the training of uh, the headers and um, some farmers in um, uh, the usage of livestock as tools to revive the environment. Headers should be uh, ecologically literate. They should be able to identify bare kept portions. They should also be able to identify oxidation, that is oxidizing grass, that grey grass uh, which now debars the new shoots from coming out so that when the animals move, they remove that oxidation and they should be able to, to state that this portion has already been overgrazed because one of the major causes of bare land is overgrazing. If a grass plant is grazed and regrazed before new leaves uh, are, are, are allowed to grow then that results in overgrazing. Full-scale human herding means 24-7 with your livestock, a human presence, human decision-making, human protection, and actually moving to a global solution of removing internal fences that litters the Karoo. Now that was very difficult to bring that kind of solution to a commercial farmer in current day South Africa. And, and, and so it became important to have a piece of land where we could pilot that intervention. Um, and, and we were looking for such a site and through the help of a philanthropist we were able to get hold of a very large piece of land which is Krommelburg. So Krommelburg actually um, uh, represents what we think is the ultimate solution. Right, right. So um, is in a natural miracle. Um, at, at, all of this work stems from uh, the research on carnivore predation on livestock farms and what's the most effective way to manage it. And uh, managing it on different farm lands is quite tricky um, because obviously farmers might want to change um, and adapt their tools as is needed, which is great in, in a practical sense. But certainly from a research sense, um, to have one place where you can test all of these things to exhaustion um, will help us get to the final answers of what is the best way to protect your livestock and manage biodiversity at the same time. So the concept behind the high impact short duration is because millions of herbivores, springbok, zebra, pass through these areas historically and that's sort of how Africa has evolved. Um, so we want to test that and see, well, you know, how long does it take and does it recover the felt with this high intensity short duration? And what that does for the plants is that the animals don't get to selectively graze. Um, so they just forage as they go, giving uh, the uprising palatable and non-palatable plants to grow equally. And then that vegetation community should change. And how that changes is exactly what we're trying to understand. But it should become more productive over time. And we hope that in time, with the research uh, rolling out, that that message will get out, both in scientific publications and as a learning site to producers and even consumers to come and see how it can be done.